Hi, my name is Kelly Kelly. I am the founder and executive director of Hand to Hold. Parents of preemies and babies born with special health care needs need support and information to ensure the best outcome for the baby and the entire family unit. Today, Hand to Hold's educational video series continues with a focus on nutrition. It is no surprise that premature infants have different nutritional needs than term infants. While human breast milk is best for most preemies, in many cases it must be fortified in order to ensure adequate amounts of protein, fat, vitamins, and minerals needed for accelerated growth. And in many cases, this fortification may be recommended for many months after leaving the NICU. Joining us today to help us better understand the common nutritional challenges preemies face and to help better prepare us to meet those needs is Leslie Ivey, a registered dietitian with Austin's First Steps High Risk Follow-Up Clinic in Austin, Texas. Preemie babies are born with compromised nutrient stores. They require a lot more calories to grow. We're expecting them to grow in the same way we would want them to if they were still in the womb, but they're in a much more stressful environment. They need more calories, they need more protein to help build up their body mass and to help them with some catch-up growth. They need more calcium and phosphorus because their bones haven't had as much time to mineralize. The last 12 weeks inside of gestation inside the mom is when they take up 80% of their calcium into their bones. So we've got to catch them up on the calcium that they need. They also have compromised iron stores, so we need to make sure we're building up their iron stores. So not only are their calorie needs different, but also their nutrient needs are much higher than a term babies would be. In the NICU setting, babies' feedings are going to be fortified in a different way than we would want them to be at home. They're going to be fortified with a human milk fortifier. Human milk fortifiers are only to be used in a hospital setting. And it's basically a liquid that you add to mom's milk. It increases, again, the protein, the calories, and the nutrients that the calcium and phosphorus and the nutrients we need for them to grow. In a home setting, fortification is a little bit different than in the NICU setting. If the mom is producing plenty of milk, has good breast milk supply, then we would simply add some sort of a formula to it, a preterm formula that again is made for premature babies with more calories, more protein, more calcium, more phosphorus, and more nutrients in it. It would be simply adding a powder to mom's milk, and that would be done with every feed. That would bring the calorie level up by at least two to four calories per ounce that the baby is getting. If mom's milk supply is not quite keeping up with baby's needs, then they can simply provide straight formula for those feedings that mom isn't able to produce. And that would again be a preterm formula that's specially designed for preterm infants to help them with that catch-up growth with the good brain development in the nutrient stores. It's important to monitor weight gain very carefully in our preterm infants. We want to make sure that they're following their growth chart. In our clinic, we make sure to plot babies according to their adjusted age, according to their age from their due date, not from their birth date. That allows us to compare them in size with babies with the same due date. It also allows us to follow along that growth chart and make sure they're growing at the right rate. If a baby is gaining weight appropriately, gaining length growth appropriately, and gaining head circumference appropriately, then their dots along their growth chart should follow one of the percentile lines. If the baby's percentile lines, if the dot is starting to fall off of the percentile lines, then we know we're not getting the growth we're looking for. It's important to follow up with your pediatrician to make sure that they're plotting it on the growth chart and that you're getting to see that growth chart and what it looks like. And if you have any concerns, make sure you're voicing those concerns to them. Am I fortifying the feeds enough? Is my baby gaining weight? How does the head circumference growth look? And if it's not looking like um, it's supposed to, then make sure that you ask them how to, how to address that. A dietitian is a specialist that works, that just focuses on nutrition. And dietitians can be for babies, it can be for children, it can be for adults. Pediatric dietitians specifically are monitoring the child's growth and nutrient intake carefully. We are making sure that they're gaining weight, and they're gaining length and that their head's growing. We're making sure that the babies are getting the appropriate feedings, whether it's mom's milk or formula. We're making sure that solid foods are being introduced at a developmentally appropriate time. We're making sure that we're teaching parents and children healthy eating habits from a very young age that will hopefully carry them through the rest of their life. 
for premature babies specifically, their growth is so important. They've had such challenges in the hospital and once they get home, we wanna make sure that they're growing and gaining weight in the best way possible. And if you're a pediatrician, if you have questions for your pediatrician and you feel like you want more advice, you can always go to a dietitian. That's our specialty. That's the only thing that we're focused on is making sure that these babies are growing and getting what they need. From challenges with milk production to the delicate dance of teaching your preterm infant to bottle and breastfeed, the nutritional needs of a preterm baby may seem ominous. Remember, you are not alone on this journey. Please visit www.handtohold.org for more information about parenting your preterm or medically fragile baby. Thank you to Austin's First Steps High Risk Follow-Up Clinic, St. David's Foundation, and St. David's Healthcare for their assistance with this important project. Fragile babies, strong support, hand to hold.